Hi everybody, welcome back. In the last video, we went over uh, running a regression in Excel, basic linear regression, one independent variable in Excel and in Python. In this video, we're gonna continue uh, and show, show this uh, visually. So we're gonna plot a couple regression, uh, scatter plots and regression lines. Uh, continuing out of the same book, using Python for introductory econometrics, up fee, upfie.net. Um, we're in downloads, we're in chapter two, and the scripts we're going to be working out of are 2.3.3 and uh, 2.4, example 2.4, and example 2.5. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and dive into those. The first uh, if you haven't seen the last video, we went ahead and ran these, uh, ran this regression looking at uh, the relationship between the return on equity, so kind of company performance on CEO salaries. And um, we're actually going to use this same, um, the same code. And so if you, if you don't have this much so far, just go ahead and go out to upfa.net um, chapter two, and the code that we wrote last time was script 2.3. Um, so if you want, you can just go copy that into Spider. Um, that'll give you that'll give you what you need. Um, okay, and if we run that, let me just run that again. Uh, we have our, oops, yeah. And then <clears throat> F9, we have our intercepts. And so remember, the a regression is ultimately just um, it's a line. Uh, it's, and particularly when there's only one variable, it's just a line. Um, and the regression coefficient beta 1 on the independent variable is the slope of that line. And the intercept is the intercept of that line. So we're going to actually build out that scatter plot and that regression line. So scatter plot and fitted values. So, uh, oh, the other thing we're going to have to import to do this is matplotlib.pyplot as plt, F9, to run that line of code. <clears throat> okay, and so now we can do plt.plot, and we want to plot return on equity and salary together. Um, the data is the CEO salary one. Now, let me actually just stop there and show you what it looks like if we only do this much. F9 to run the, the single line, and over here, in uh, this environment, there's a tab for plots. And so if we run it just like that, it's gonna look a little bit strange. Um, and so we want this to be a scatter plot, not, not whatever's going on right there. Um, and so to do that, we can do line, line style is equal to just two um, apostrophes, and if we run that, oops, CEO Sal one. Um, oh, and yeah, oh, oh. So yeah, line style double double apostrophe means there's, there's, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing in there. Uh, there's no line style at all. So we don't see any lines. Um, as expected. And to see something, we would want to see markers on each of those points. And so we can do a marker is equal to a uh, little O, and that'll give us little circles. And there we have um, the markers. And so, you know, you can do all sorts of other things. You can change the colors, you can, you can change the size, you can add little borders around those. Uh, to, to look into that, you just go to matplotlib and look at the different examples in their documentation on, on building these plots. 
Um, let's let's build a. Let's just do it like they do. They do a gray. They do a gray color scheme. Okay, that's fine. All right. Now, if we do plt dot plot. CEO Sal. Oops. One. And we want to just see the ROE. Oops. Oh. And we want to see the fitted values from that regression that we've run. Um, so a regression line isn't going to be able to fit all of these perfectly, but it's going to pick that line um, that minimizes the su square root of some the sum of the squared residuals. And so, you know, this point here isn't necessarily going to be what the regression would predict for that individual CEO, that person. Uh, but uh, we're going to be having the predicted or the fitted values for each, for each person. And so to do that, we do, we grab our results object, and inside of the results is something called fitted values. So there's the true value, and then there's the fitted value of the regression line. Let's make this line black. And the line style is going to be a dash, uh, which is just going to be you know, a, normal, a normal line. Okay, we run that. Maybe, maybe I need to close my parentheses. Oops, what do I need to do? Oh, I closed them too early over there. There, so now we, we have a, a funny looking line all by itself. Um, the reason that happens is I, I like to hit F9 to run my code, you know, line by line. But to see the plot built all together, and let me go ahead and clear all these plots. To see a plot built all together, you need to run the entire code if you want these to be plotted on the same plot. So um, the play button or F5 will run this entire block of code. And so there we have it. So. Like I said, um, you know, the regression would have predicted for the, you know, this, this, all of these dots, these are CEOs. And so this is their salary. Actually, let's go ahead and finish. Um, let's add some labels. Y label. If I, I got to spell that right. PLT dot X label. And yeah, okay. And that's at five and run the whole thing again. Okay, right. And so, you know, this dot is a single CEO. They have a salary here of, you know, a little less than 2000. And these are probably in, actually, we can double check that. Thousands of dollars. Um, so 2,000 is 2 million. Okay. Um, so a little less than $2 million. Um, but then let's say that's, you know, 1800. I don't know what that is, but let's say that's 1.8 million. And the regression line would have predicted say 17 or 16 million, 1.6 million. Uh, and that's going to do that for all of these, uh, CEOs. And that's what a regression looks like visually. Um, so it's finding the line that fits best between all the points of data um, that's going to minimize the difference, the squared difference between the true value and some fitted value. And that's what it's finding is the fitted value. Okay, last thing is if you want, you can save this off save fig and um, I'll just call it example 
dot, so it can be a PDF, but you can do a, you can do a JPEG. Uh, you've got some options there. And you could specify the file path here as well. If you don't specify the file path, it's going to, this is your current working directory up here and mine, Python, metrics, lectures, and book scripts. Um, it's going to save it there. I'm, I'm fine with that. If you want to change it, you just browse and, and change. Actually, let me just save it in my base Python file. Select that folder, F5 to run the whole thing. And if we come over to to my files, so here's my Python folder, and eh, well, example.pdf. Oh, somehow I'm back in metrics book scripts. Okay, that's fine. Uh, metrics lectures, book scripts, example PDF that I've created. And that opens up as, as a PDF. All right, you can do the same thing uh, if we did a JPEG instead. It's added an example JPEG. And so you could take that and you can, you know, copy and paste it into your, into whatever, uh, whatever document you're working on. Okay. Um, right. So actually I was going to, I was going to cover a couple of different, um, scripts in this video, but as it's already 12 minutes in, I think this is a reasonable place to stop. And then I'll, I'll pick it up, uh, in the next video with, uh, with some more, with some more Python material. So again, just continuing to work through chapter two in the Using Python for Introductory Econometrics textbook. I'm going to leave it off here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.